welcome your host, San Antonio Sam. Fiesta, Texas for Roller Coaster Rodeo. Now, uh, for those that were here, by raising your hand, who was here last year? Whoa! Welcome back! Welcome back for those that have not been a part of this event. This three-day event is going to be a lot of fun. We have a lot in store for you. Now, just kind of a, a, a few things to go over. Before we start our adventure, my name is Jorge. Some of you already know me. You can call me Jalapeno George, Jorge Jalapeno, and if you don't know how to roll the R, it's easy. When I say hip hip, you say Jorge. Hip hip! Jorge! And you speak Spanish. Perfect. We're going to have a lot of fun, like I said, just a few things. Now, you do have your lanyards with you, these nice horseshoes around your neck. Not only are they for good luck, but they are your access to everything. You might have seen on the lanyard itself, but you have all day access to reserve seating for shows. You have VIP ride access, access to our Coca-Cola VIP lounge just across the way, brand new, a lot of fun. You got 50% off on certain attractions like Slingshot, Screaming Eagle, and on Saturday and Sunday, tomorrow and Sunday, you actually have all day access to Hurricane Harbor San Antonio. So lots of really great things that this badge gives you. So make sure to always have it with you during this event. Now moving right along, uh, the Zaragoza Lobby, where we were just out there, will be our roller coaster uh, rodeo lounge. So as you know, the Texas heat doesn't stop. And tomorrow is a long day and Sunday is a nice long day as well. You have access to the Zaragoza lobby from park open tomorrow all the way to park close. Air conditioned, you can come in, grab yourself a drink, cool off, and then head out and out to the next thing. Okay, so that'll be Saturday all day and then Sunday all the way through noon. Okay, now, Talking about tomorrow, uh, who here signed up for the lift hill climb for Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger and the block break climb? So we have quite a few of you. Now, there was a group uh, that I see a few faces were here this morning. It is an amazing uh, tour to, to not actually do, but it is uh, quite a long process. Our rides team does a fantastic job getting you all situated to go up and then come back down. So that being said, for those that are signed up for Saturday, for tomorrow, once we get into our uh, Roller Coast Rodeo Cowboy Breakfast, we will be leaving that quite early and to head over to Dr. Dival's Diabolical's Clipping. So, for those that are checking in, it will be at Lone Star Lills at the entrance, just like you're going to watch some fireworks. You're going to head into Lone Star Lills, sit on down, and we'll have the team there to start taking y'all up. So no later than 9 o'clock tomorrow, uh, there for the tours. Now lastly, tonight we have a lot in store for you. 
Uh, we have our Superman infield tour, which gives you a nice behind uh, the scenes look and really cool photo angles of our fantastic ride, uh, Superman Krypton Coaster. That will begin after this, uh, all the way through eight o'clock over at the ride itself. We'll have team members directing you uh, where to go. This year, for the three specific tours, for Superman Krypton Coaster, for the 10 year anniversary of Iron Rattler, the behind the scenes, and for our uh, Bugs Whitewater Rapid, we are including a exclusive roller coaster rodeo uh, collectible pin. So, those are part of the tours this year. Um, you won't get those anywhere else, I can promise you that. So, uh, just make sure when you get to the tour, once you complete it, you'll, you'll seek out and we'll be giving those away. After that, we'll have the DC Universe open for exclusive ride time all the way through nine o'clock. Now, once we get through the DC Universe, we're actually gonna make our way over to the Crack Axle Canyon, where our park president, Jeffrey Siebert, has a little bit of a surprise for you. I can't say what it is, and I truly, they don't pay me enough to even know what it is, but once we go over there, we're all going to meet nine o'clock sharp in front of the train station, okay? You got it? All right, you're saying okay a lot. Mental, make sure to leave that note. We will have appetizers, we'll have desserts for you out there in Crack Axle Canyon. And if you already got through the process, you might uh, be carrying with you those, those blue and red uh, tickets. Well, tonight, the red tickets are your drink tickets. So the, tonight, it's red. Make sure to have those ready to go in Crack Axle. Now, that's enough talking for me. I know you want to know more and you want to see the, the, the people that truly drive this park and make it the greatest park, uh, not only in Texas, but just all around. And there's one guy specifically that does that for our park, and I think you know who it is. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please welcome our park president, Jeffrey Seaman. No doubt the event is created for you. This event is for our fellow fans and enthusiasts, created by fellow fans and enthusiasts. So if you ever have ideas how to make it better, please let us know because we truly want to make this a signature, spectacular annual tradition. And as Jorge just listened, as you can see, all the stops are pulled out, the red carpet. Lots of fun surprises are in store over the three days. As you know, we always like to share a whole bunch, but there's always some secrets yet to remain. Dun, 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 of course beginning this evening as the sun goes down in Crack Axle Canyon. So as we're going to talk about, we're all going to have fun and behind the scenes of our beautiful Superman Krypton coaster during the golden hour and the sun is beginning to set. Some really great photos, lots of fun ride time, but make sure that by 9 o'clock you are in Crack Axle Canyon because we know when the sun sets, horrible things truly begin to happen, which only means more fun for everybody. Because that's what makes theme parks great. Theme yeah. parks are always fun because something goes horribly wrong and that's what makes it all exciting from all of our rides. <laughs> Fun instills no doubt. The other thing that Jorge mentioned was the magic of your lanyard. Do you guys like the lanyards this year? Yeah. Very cool. But also, as he shared, we've rolled out all the VIP services as part of your experience. So on the back, you'll notice there's a series of VIP logos. So any VIP experience in the park, from the VIP entrance coming in, to our VIP entrance in the water park, to the VIP lounge, to the VIP lounge chairs themselves in the water park, but there's also one other VIP logo on the back, and that reads VIP Tours. What do you think that does? That will get you flash pass access to all the rides and attractions throughout your entire stay over the next several days as well. So just make sure that you show that to any flash pass entrance. So not only do we have a crazy amount of exclusive ride time lined up for everybody, including the big signature event tomorrow where every single ride in the entire park is open exclusively for roller coaster rodeo for hours and hours tomorrow night, but also during the day, it gets you on rides and attractions much faster when we do have anticipated crowds. So please make sure that you wear that with pride, use our VIP services, and make sure you also use those VIP entrances for the rides and attractions to get on during the day. But you'll, you won't need that because you'll be on tours. That's the, that's the advantage and disadvantage. You'll always be on some tour somewhere doing something. And I appreciate the fact that everyone that is not from the great state of Texas is enjoying our complimentary heat, which is like walking in a toaster oven. Oh my gosh. And for those that I've known for 20 years, 
I grew up in Ohio, so I am still thawing out for the winter, so it still feels good. But no doubt that we call this time of year in Texas, we're just preheating the oven. This is just the preheating. Actually, believe it or not, the hotter days are yet to come than what you experienced today was our average temperature. Our average high this time of year is 91 degrees. That's just the average. So hopefully the humidity will burn out and we're gonna have just some fantastic times. For those that actually got to enjoy the park a little bit today, hopefully you saw some of our new improvements that we continue to make from just more furniture, more shade, more plants, more landscaping, more paint, just beautiful enhancements that we've done over this year. Thank you guys so much. But no doubt we love to theme. Our themed areas are all being reignited in the classic theme of when the park originally opened. So as you go through our themed areas, the surfaces, the benches, the painting, the music is all themed to those specific areas. And I can assure you the most exciting days are yet to come. Just this year alone, all of us in this room are fellow coaster enthusiasts, no doubt. And as you know, our, we began this year with actually launching a third train for the Iron Rattler to ensure that we're always have a two-train operation which was a, a fun ad, no doubt. When I actually called our friends at Gerschlauer to order the third train, they're like, are you kidding me? I'm like, no, why? They go, we just threw the molds away two months ago for the head and the tail. I'm like, are you kidding me? They're like, we thought for sure you guys would never order another train for Iron Rattler. So we actually had to send our one of our snake heads and tails so they can re-engineer it for the third train, in addition to all the other improvements. One of the other improvements that just recently opened is Boomerang 2.0, who's ready Boomerang 2.0? So again, another multi-million dollar enhancement. Not only does it feature the, the newest, latest generation trains, it also has complete mag brakes, which anyone that has been on those rides for the past 30 years knows how loud they used to be coming to the station. And just to hear it come in and completely silent is just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But it's all new controls. Just watching it dance on the course is just amazing how quick it parks, how quick it dispatches. It's a huge improvement from a downtime and operational perspective for our team. So it's another great improvement. But the most exciting improvement is still yet to come. Anyone recall what is next? What's the next up? Well, uh, as far as the redo, it's, it is Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster is about to go through also a multi-million dollar renovation after July 4th. So for those of us that have known and loved that ride, we've known that she's been getting a little bit rougher. She's been getting a little bit more temperamental. And a lot of that is due to a component that's called an elasto bushing. There's an elasto bushing on the trains that actually is like a small shock absorber. It's made of a composite. Sadly, they weren't lasting very long. So we've gone through about 25 different composites. But every time we've gone through those composites, they become a little bit harder. And if you make it a little bit harder, it makes the ride a little bit rougher. So we've been working with Rocky Mountain Construction to really create a whole nother generation for Wonder Woman. So after July 4th, the ride is actually going to be taken out of circulation. We're gonna make sure that we keep you guys informed. Every piece of control equipment on the ride is being removed. So all the drive tires, brakes that are currently on it, it's all being gutted. And we're putting all brand new equipment in. We're bringing a company out to actually make the track and joints even smoother. And that will take us uh, several months. We hope to have it back open before Fright Fest. But the most exciting part is brand new trains that are coming that will arrive in early 2024 that are even more accommodating than the current trains. So for those Wonder Woman fans that are out there, get your rides in because she's about to become even more spectacular and more rewritable. It's been a challenge for our team to keep a two train operation with as quick as the components are. And now we'll be able to go back to a full three train operation, have a moving station and all that the ride is really truly designed to be. So it's gonna be another fantastic improvement yet to come. But as you know, there's still lots of other fun in store that we've done this year, including this upcoming week. We're really ramping up our summer vibes. Uh, if you would be here next weekend, we're going to be adding four different art installations throughout the park that will be decorated. So if you're in Crack Axe, you'll notice there's a whole bunch of guide wires above where we're going to be installing decor throughout the park. Our new Flavors of the World Food Festival is getting ready to launch along with a new parade to us, which is the Splash Water Parade. If you were in over Texas a few years ago, we actually did a prototype of the Splash Water Parade that was very well received by our guests. We immediately commissioned additional floats to be built, but sadly due to COVID, the parade never saw the light of day again, until this year. So the parade floats, there's now five with more excitement and it will actually begin next weekend, three, uh, three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 
throughout the rest of summer, they'll actually have the Splash Water Parade. And then when we conclude in the middle of July, the parade will then go up to Six Flags Over Texas and run through their end of their summer. And then we'll reintroduce the parade even bigger for next year. So lots of fun, excitement, and store yet to come. But most importantly, I want to thank Jorge and the entire marketing team that is here, our entertainment team, the operations team, and the maintenance team. As you can imagine, I'm lucky enough that I get to work with lots of other crazy people that enjoy the magic of what we do. So on behalf of all of us at Six Flags VS in Texas, we're so excited to host you for this three extravaganzas. We'll see each other more than we'll see our own families. And for many of you who have known so long that we are family, if I have not met you, please make sure that you swing by sometime over the next several days to say hello so we get to meet and please feel free to ask questions as we all engage because this time is really for you. We're happy to pull back the curtain and offer more insights of how theme parks open and operate and what we do because anyone that has known me for a while knows I've been an enthusiast officially since 1991. I've been a member of ACE all those years along with NAFA, Newton Beach Park Nuts, and a whole bunch of other fun clubs. So I can assure you we're all cut from the same cloth when it comes to loving parks and attractions. And it's just now fun to be on the other side and to continue the excitement of what we're doing. Also, if you've noticed the updated agenda online, please continue to go to the website to check out the menus for the event, along with all the agenda updates. We have begun receiving more track pieces of our brand new kids coaster, Kids Flash, which is getting ready to be hopefully uh, sooner rather than later. But our track count is finally picking up. So as part of the tour on Sunday, you'll actually go and see this new innovative track design. You have your photos taken with the track, sit on the track, have fun with the track. Also, all of our new kids' slides are out there, so you can see what it's like as we begin staging these pieces for assembly and construction. If you happen to go to our kids' flash area, you'll notice we're doing all the foundation work. Part of the ride is actually going to go over our creek, so it's going to have a kind of a fun interaction with uh, water as well, which will be a lot of fun to have that open. So we'll officially be the kids' coaster capital of Texas when Kid Flash opens here in just a little bit. But those are just some of the fun things that we have going on. But the most fun thing is actually happening right now. Are you guys ready to officially kick off the Roller Coaster Rodeo and begin with our first big signature event? Again, on behalf of myself and the entire Six Flags Fiesta Texas Tech family, welcome to Roller Coaster Rodeo! Let's head to Superman! <laughs> 